Time for the warm up. So with a lot of the drills we're gonna be doing in the DVD, we're actually gonna be using full body movements. With our warm up, we're actually gonna to try to isolate our joints and do some joint mobility work. So we're gonna start at our neck, we're gonna go all the way down to our ankles. Start at the neck, again with this posture, we're gonna want our feet together, nice, tall and straight. We're gonna reach down to the ground. All I want you to do is rotate back and forth. We're gonna do about 10 to 20 reps per movement, but you know, if you have a sticking area, just pause the DVD of the program and you know, do it for 30 seconds, a minute even. All right, now we're gonna go forward and back. So imagine you're tucking your chin, making that double chin, extending forward, trying to keep your chin level with the ground. Try a little more difficult, we're gonna go side to side. So trying to keep our chin level again, back and forth, still reaching towards the ground with our hands. All right, next nice and loose. Now we're just gonna shrug. Now each time you come down, I want you to reach towards the ground. Then I want you to bring your shoulders as high as you can, making a full range of movement. You can try to get your, your breathing in line. It's kind of tough for me because I'm talking the whole time, but for you, try to make sure you're flowing through each movement. All right, really simple. I want you to cross your arms in front of you, keep your shoulders back and tucked. Throughout the program, I'm gonna be saying, keep your shoulders back and tucked. And our warm up is no different, so get used to it. All right, going reverse direction. These are nice simple drills. There's much more complex joint mobility drills, but all we're trying to do is loosen you up for our 30 minute to 40 minute workout. All right, feet a little bit farther apart, arms out straight. Trying to keep your arms parallel with the ground and reach to either side. It's gonna loosen up your mid back. Again, try to flow through. Back and forth. Again, if you're feeling any kind of, you know, twingy things, go ahead and stop the tape, do an extra 50. All right, this time I want you to reach behind you. But what I don't want you to do is rotate your hips. You can see my hips are staying straight. All we're trying to do is rotate our upper body. All right, now we're gonna loosen it up. Now I want you to let your hips rotate just a little bit. Back and forth. All right, now keep your chest proud, shoulders back, we're gonna hand to the hips. Get down as far as you can while maintaining good form. Come up and reach behind you. Go ahead, loose knees. I don't care if you can touch your toes or not. You're just trying to lubricate the joints. All right, hands on your hips. Why don't you make a big circle. Now you can see my shoulders are staying directly over my heels. If they're moving around a lot more, then you're kind of missing the point of the drill, which is to hit the joints with a variety of movements. Now, feet a little bit closer together. I want you to rock into one joint, bend the opposite knee, and rock back. Back and forth. Should feel this, your bone rocking within your hip socket. Back and forth. If you're feeling really tight, you're going to do this for a while. One more hip, you can go back, come up straight to the opposite side. So again, I'm hinging at the hips. I'm aiming towards that back corner with one hip at a time. Back and forth. Again, nice loose knees. Back and forth. This is one that you know, you're gonna to wanna to work on if you wanna to start descending farther into your squats. All right, really quick knee. I want you to do, feet together, keep that same distance between your knees. I want you to go back and forth, keeping your hip or your feet flat on the ground. Last one, stand on one foot, point the toes, and imagine making a big circle with your toes. Keep them pointed. Might hear some pops. That's good. Opposite side. 
in an opposite way. All right, now we're gonna do some quick calisthenics just to get things ready. So what I want you to do is a good morning. You'll see this in the tutorials. Hands behind your ears. I want you to bend at the hips, get your hips behind you. Try to make that tabletop. And back up, we're going 10, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, we're going body weight squats. Again, feet about shoulder width apart, hands out straight, proud chest, shoulders back and tuck, and descend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, hips nice and loose, back straight, neutral, and we're ready to go into our workout. Time for the two hand swing exercise. So remember, nice shoulders back, not shrugging. We're going 10 on the 30 seconds. Nice endurance drill. All right, great for five seconds. Put the bell in position. Nice straight back, hike it back, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Sit down, nice and safe. Shake it off. Think about 15 to 18 seconds. Should give you between 10 and 15 seconds rest. <sighs> Breathing, five seconds to go. All right, get ready for it. Tilt it back and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And sit down, again, 10 to 15 seconds rest. Keep it going, line up at the weight if you need to. Five seconds. Again, should not be tiring out your arms. Use your hips and stop. Nice work. All right, time for the half Turkish getup with the sandbag on your shoulder. So it's technically a shoulder getup, but we're just gonna go halfway. So go ahead and get the kettlebell onto your shoulder, lie back, whichever or, I'm sorry, sandbag on your shoulder. Whichever side the sandbag's on, this knee's gonna be bad. Ready, and go. Five on the 30. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. All right, so you can see with that, I actually didn't use my arm on some. Either way is good. The no arm version is a little bit harder. All right, up to the side. And go. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. All right, get ready to switch. It's only about 10 second rest per side. And go. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Nice. Again, test it like rest, and we're going through our last set. Five seconds, you want to get ready? And go. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Nice job, nice complex exercise, but it'll hit you really quick all over. Two seconds, and stop, nice work. 
All right, time for the one arm swing exercise. Remember, this is a counter rotational movement. You're gonna fight that rotation and try to keep your back straight with each rep. We're going 10 reps on the 30 second. Get ready for it in three seconds. Then you go to the back, hike back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, you saw about one second pace. You know, it shouldn't be too much different than that. It'll vary to be on your height, but it should be about one second. Five seconds to go, and we're doing it on the left side. Get ready for it, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Sit down nice and safely. Can't breathe out. If your arm is getting overly tired, then you're probably not using enough hip hop. All right, five seconds to go. Get the right mindset. Lean it back and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Sit down, breathe, nice little 10 second rest. Keep on going. Again, if you're not getting it done, your weight is probably a little bit too heavy. Line up if you have to. Get ready for it. Left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Sit down nice and safe. Keep busting it out. 10 seconds. Again, you're looking for that about one second range for each rep. Keep going. Three seconds to go. Push it and stop. Nice work. All right, time for the sandbag front press exercise. So, whereas with our kettlebell strict press, we're activating our lats, you're still going to be doing that, but you're actually pressing directly off your chest, engaging more of your shoulders. All right, ready? Let's go ahead and clean it up. Nice tight core and press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, nice conditioning drill. You should be able to do your 10. This is going to be endurance based. All right, two seconds. One, let's do it again. Raise it up and press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice work, see if we put it down. We've got five seconds, go and wrap it up. Three, two, one, and stop. Nice work. All right guys, ready for a complex drill. We're gonna be doing the figure eight to hold and curl. So figure eight to curl. Remember, we're gonna cradle the weight and we're combining those two movements together. So try to flow. We're going 10 reps on the 45 second. Get ready, and go. So figure eight, and curl, one. Catch and curl. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10. All right, it took up most of the time, but we're splitting up the exercise using a lot of body groups, so that's okay. Get ready for it, and go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice work, a little faster, but still only five seconds rest. Go ahead and wrap it up and stop. Nice work. All right, time for the sandbag back squat exercise. So we're gonna go ahead and get the weight up and overhead. Get it onto your shoulders. Hold nice and tight. Remember your squat form. Ch proud chest, dropping your hips. We're going 10 on the 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. All right, now set it down, don't have much rest. You only get about 10 seconds. Going in five, get ready for it. Get it up, using our clean on your shoulders, and go. Nice proud chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, nice deep squats. Should be able to get it done in about 20 seconds. Go ahead and wrap it up and stop. Nice work. All right, time for the figure eight drill. This is a fun exercise, but make sure you're always going from in front of you to behind you, never the opposite direction because you can land on your feet. We're going 10 on the 30 second. Get okay, ready? Just like your swing start, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, set it down. Gonna rest. Ten seconds, not too bad. Remember, I'm standing up straight every single time. I'm not staying down here, putting pressure on my back. Just like your swing, stand up straight. Nice tight core, ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sit down. Looks like an easy drill, but we'll get your heart pumping if you're doing it correctly. Keep on going. Five seconds. Bust it out, wrap it up and stop nice work the sandbag shouldering drill is an extremely functional exercise because it helps you get any awkward weight onto your shoulder so this is an endurance drill we're going to be doing 10 reps on the 30 seconds alternating each time get ready for it crush grip and go one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go and set it down. Really quick drill. Only about 20 seconds to do that. 10 seconds to rest, and we're going again. Get ready for it. Remember, crush the weight, don't let it flop. And go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Now, if you're finding it flopping on your shoulder, it probably means that you're bringing the weight out before you bring it back. So just bring it straight up, place it. Keep going, and stop. Nice work. All right, guys, time for the kettlebell clean drill. This is another ballistic movement that goes from between your legs up into the rack position. All right, we're going 10 reps on 30 seconds. Two rounds each side. Get ready for it, we're going three seconds. Two, one, and go. Swing back, bring it up. One, two, three. Remember, no flopping. Four, five, use that hip. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, sit down nice and safely. You got 10 seconds rest, not a lot of rest in this one. All right, five seconds, 
Get ready for the next one. You get in position, lean it back, and hike it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, set down again. Nice straight back when you set it down. So just lean over for your back your wrist. All right, we're going again. Three seconds. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, safe set down. Shake it out, last one, five seconds. Breathe in. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, set down. So you got 10 seconds, wrap it up. If you're not finishing it, you're probably using a weight that's too heavy. Keep going, three seconds. And stop, nice work. The sandbag zercher clean is another very functional exercise that allows you to get the, you know, an odd object off the ground and into the crook of your arms. So from here, we're gonna blast it up. We're going 10 on the 30, very good conditioning ballistic drill. Get ready for it, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Another quick exercise, about 20 seconds to complete. If it's taking you longer, you might need to line up the weight. Three seconds. And again, blast it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Another ballistic drill. Nice full body action. Five seconds to go. I'm going to wrap it up. Got two seconds. And stop. Nice work. All right, time for the two hand press. So just like your strict press, we're gonna be keeping a tight core, knees locked out. We're gonna squeeze the glutes the whole time. Get the weight up. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Set the way down. You know, you can kind of pick up the pace. This is more of an endurance drill rather than a deliberate strength drill. So you get a little bit of rest, but you know, bust out the reps. Watch your chin. Make sure you have a cradle in front of you. Ready? Get the weight back up. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice work. Shake out those arms. Still got 10 seconds to rest or finish up the reps. Remember, tight core. Bring it all the way down before going back up. Three seconds. And stop. Nice work. All right, time for the snatch exercise. So we're gonna do the snatch from the ground, which makes it a little bit easier. So it's actually a half, bring it down into the, or the zercher position before dropping it back to the ground. We're gonna go 10 on the 30. All right, ready? And go all the way overhead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, not a lot of rest. I only got five seconds, and we're going again. Ready? And go. 
One. Pick up the pace. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Nice, super intense set, and you're done. All right guys, time for the goblet squat. We're gonna be doing 10 reps on the 45 second. Don't just rush through these, we're grinding through them. This is a deliberate movement. We're going in five seconds. Gonna get the weight up. Pull close your chest and go. Descending, one, two, nice and deep. Stay nice and vertical. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sit down nice and safely. All right, so you saw I was going nice and deep. If you finish this in 10 seconds, you're probably going too fast. Go and slow it down, five seconds to rest. You're looking for a three, three count down, three count up. And go. 10 reps, nice and slow. One. Try to follow my pace. Two. And my breathing. Three. Four. Five. Keep the cat about close. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. All right, should be finishing behind me, but not too far ahead of me. Try to keep that pace. This is a deliberate exercise. Keep it going. Three seconds. And stop. Nice work. The rotational swing is an excellent uh, full body explosive drill that involves going from one side to the other but using that same hinging motion that you use with your two hand kettlebell swing or your sandbag two hand swing. All right, we're going 10 on the 30. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. All right, I did that about 10 on the 20, so I got 10 seconds rest. Go and breathe. Remember, hinging at the hips. Try not to let it take you away. Push it straight back and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Again, even though you're gonna be forced to rotate, you're gonna try to fight against it during the whole drill. Five seconds, keep it going. Two, one, and stop. Nice work.